Welcome back. The hurt is what we all have in common and today is still the World Environment Day and joining us is Humanitarian Personality of the Year Award nominee, La Mode Magazine 2019, Sustainable Development Goals Ambassador and our very own business analyst, Irene Obani. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. How are you thank doing you. today? Very well, thank you. How are you guys doing? I'm excited to have you on the show. Certainly. Very excited. Thank you, guys. You just brightened our table. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, speaking on the environment, are the cases are now to protect our environment? All right, so basically, my mantra is the earth wasn't made for anything to go to waste. Mm. So with that, in retrospect, I believe that every single person has a responsibility to ensure that they take care of the environment mm. with their within whatever whatever platform it is you have you mm. need to ensure that you maximize it mm. either as a business owner ensure that you are running a sustainable business as an individual ensure that your environment is um, you know tidy so we're talking about people that would make use of take you know either one of these fizzy drinks and then just throw the bottles Out into to, the mm. you know trash or on the floor in the gutter mm. now you should be asking yourself what would this do to the next person mm. what happens when it starts to rain yeah everybody's in the same um clock mm. because in terms of traffic the traffic situation becomes even more because the drainages are blocked now and then you can't even have like proper access to your house yeah so you have a trip that's supposed to take you five minutes because everybody or some people have refused to take responsibility mm. to mm. ensure proper disposal of whatever it is they've mm. used then everybody has to um, you know, bear the bronze for it. So yeah. everybody has a responsibility to ensure that. I, I, I like the, okay. the opening statement that nothing goes to waste. Um, yes. And a good way to avoid waste is to recycle because obviously we can't use that. I, I know we're bringing the business into the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. but in case there's like maybe a makeup artist or a, a, comp a beauty owner or a fashion designer, whatever it is, how can they start to um, implement will I say a, res a, a reduced wasteful environment in their company? Like what would be that one step that they can do to, to, do, to do that? All right, so let me take it from the business angle because, you know, I talk a lot of business, mm. right? Business. So let me talk about the artists. I've been to, for example, Nikkei Arts Gallery. You mm -hmm. see that some artists are beginning to implement what we call sustainable businesses. So you see them using scrap metals to mm. create very lovely art pieces. Yeah. Mm. You go to an African country, go to Togo, you see some fishermen are now using, putting together pet bottles to make canoes that they go to catch fishes with. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So things like that you can start mm. to implement so that nothing goes to waste at the end of the day. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're doing three things. You're ensuring that you're making profit out of your business. Mm. You're also making sure that you're um, performing sustainable business strategies such that you do, nothing goes to waste like I said before right. and then the third part you're also putting into consideration people around you yeah because the moment you start to take collections of these scrap metals this plastic bottles you're reducing the number of plastic bottles that are becoming nuisance in your society mm, yeah. at the end of the day yeah. all right so that. kenya has just placed a ban on single use of plastics in protected natural areas this means that visitors can carry plastic water bottles cups disposable plates etc do you think nigeria should emulate this Oh, of course. I remember mm. when I um, landed in Rwanda, you would see, they would tell you that you are not allowed anything plastic, not mm -hmm. even the um, nylons. Mm. You can't take it from the airports there. So there's already a conversation around that. Mm. So I know if Nigeria has to implement it, it's not something that will be coming to... Um, start working immediately. immediately so you even need to start talking to companies because here in nigeria we still have companies that produce nylons yeah so are we converting are we saying no more production of nylons mm. and then start to use paper bags mm. so you cannot just outrightly ban if you haven't started from the grassroots right. yeah. you can't build a house from the roof you build yeah. a house from the foundation mm. so you need to start working based on you know the foundation what right. are the yeah. in-house causes of this particular thing before yeah. you start talking about you know uh, it, it's, it's also i love that that answer because i know that in our culture it is permanent like it's only here i know that if you go and buy food and you want to do a takeaway 
The takeaways in plastic. Exactly. I don't know anyone else as bossy enough to do that. And you see people going to places like Lekki Conservation Center, Center and you're with papers, paper, paper bags. bags. Yeah. You go to like, the beach and you see that from the entrance, there's no yeah, room exactly. talking about. You sh these are the no. things that are not allowed. Not, they just yeah. want to collect the money for the entry fee. Whatever you want to take in, take it in. Mm. That should not be ad advisable. Uh, yeah. it, it, it gets really sad when I go to the beach and I see like cocks of um, plastic. And I know you, mm. you probably pick it up yourself. You, you should know me. <laughs> I mean. right, but we're running out of time. But finally, what is one thing that you see on the streets of Lagos that is actually um, causing harm to the environment but has become like a norm that you see personally and you think you sh it should change? Hmm. Still, the situation about plastic bottles. Yeah. You shouldn't normalize the abnormal. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? And for me, I feel like when you drink, say, Coke or Fanta, be responsible. I'm, I'm, I put them in my bag, mm. although I don't like fizzy drinks. But let's say bottle water. I like mm. to take water a lot. I put it in my bag until I find a proper disposable channel, yeah. which is a trash can. Yes. Don't, th don't feel comfortable throwing things on the road. Yeah. I see people in very nice cars throwing... You you wind down <laughs> and you throw it out <laughs> on the road. Different experiences with this. I don't get the I, I don't get the psychology behind mm. it. Uh, it's because you don't respect your environment. Mm. You wouldn't finish if okay. Some people you'd assume that oh that they would take like the drinks and then throw it in their sitting room. They know that their house help will come and clear it. But don't do that to your yeah, environment. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. all right, all right. So um, we're running out of that. time. I wish we could continue, but we need to call it a wrap. And this is where we say. We'll see you later, but remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing, subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Alto TV and in London on Ben Television. Thank you to my co-anchor, Ife Omai, and our studio guest, Irene Ubani, for the amazing contributions. And the entire production team, I am Ife Oluwa saying thank you for watching and stay safe.